Time is precious. Understanding, time is short. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a common English phrase, time is short. This phrase is not just about the clock ticking but carries a deeper meaning in various contexts. Let's dive into it and see how you can use it effectively in your conversations. Time is short, literally refers to having limited time to do something. It's often used to express the urgency of a situation or the need to act quickly. For example, if you're working on a project and the deadline is approaching, you might say, we have to hurry, time is short. Beyond its literal meaning, time is short, can be used figuratively to reflect on life and our time on Earth. In this context, it's a philosophical statement implying that life is fleeting, and we should make the most of it. For instance, someone might say, time is short, so I want to travel the world and experience as much as I can. This phrase is also popular in literature and famous quotes. Writers and poets use it to add a sense of urgency or to highlight the brevity of life. A character in a novel might reflect, time is short, and there's so much I still want to do. It's a powerful way to convey emotions and priorities. In everyday conversations, you can use, time is short, to emphasize the importance of not wasting time. For example, you might tell a friend, we shouldn't put off our plans. Time is short, and we should enjoy our time together. It's important to note that, time is short, does not always mean there's a sense of panic or extreme urgency. It's a reminder rather than a warning, misinterpreting it as always urgent can lead to unnecessary stress. Time is short, is a versatile phrase with both literal and figurative meanings. It reminds us of the importance of time management and the value of living life to the fullest. We hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase effectively in your English conversations. Remember, time is precious, so make every moment count. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next lesson.